Governor, how high will unemployment have to rise to get inflation in check? Uh, that's, a, that's a very good question. And, uh, I, you know, we really don't know the answer to that at the moment. Our, our central forecasts have the unemployment rate getting to 4.5% next year, and that being enough broadly to get the unemployment, the inflation rate down to 3% over the next couple of years. If, if we can do that, that central fo forecast comes to fruition. It'll be a good outcome for the country, won't it? Because we all have got to 4.5% unemployment, which before the pandemic, the lowest we got to was a bit of a five. Um, but there's a lot of uncertainty around this, and it partly depends upon how wage outcomes develop. If wage outcomes kind of stay in a reasonable ballpark, then I think we can manage this, what, what I see as a fairly soft landing. We're keeping the unemployment rate below where it was before the pandemic. What are the risks in regards to that wage dimension that you've just talked about? Well, one risk would obviously be that um, people say, inflation's 7.8%, I need a 7.8% mm. pay rise. Because if, if that happens, the inflation is going to be high next year, and then we have another high um, pay rise, and the year after that, inflation is high, and we're mm. in this nasty world I talked about. So that's that is fire. yeah, that's that's one risk. Uh, but I think you've got to keep it in perspective at mm. the moment. Uh, at the moment, you don't really see evidence of that occurring. We think that the growth in the wage price index will get up to four percent, maybe a bit higher and um, probably not go much higher than that. But there are risks here. If we end up in the world I was describing before where people um, link wage increases one for one with inflation, then inflation will persist and it'll be more difficult. But at the moment, that's not happening. The enterprise agreements that have been signed over mm. the past four or five months have bigger wage increases this year, but then next year, they're a bit lower again. And we hear this um, from firms in our liaison as well. They're, they're giving workers a bigger increase this year, but they're, they're saying to their workforce, well, next year we've got to go back to something more modest. Um, I hope that's, that's how it works out. But if it doesn't, we'll have problems.